Good morning, guys. Hope everybody's doing great today. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time coming for this 91 shop truck. Bought the truck well over a year ago. Uh, just a series of events have occurred that has just put everything on the back burner. We're finally able to dig it out. We haven't touched this thing in over a year. I've got another video on how to remove the truck bed, but there were some details and minor things I left out of that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on those points on this video. It's not gonna be real long, but it'll cover the high points so that if you haven't done this before, you'll kind of know some of the things to look for and some of the tips to get the thing off the truck. So let's get on it. Okay, this is a little awkward laying on my back, but I'm on the passenger side of the truck at the, where the cab meets the bed. So your first bolt is on the outside of the frame rail, and it's an 18 millimeter. In fact, all the bed bolts are 18 millimeter. So there's number one, it's on the outside. Number two, as you move inside, is right at the shock mount. And if you look up in there, let's see if I can get that, there it is. Uh, and there's a hole in the frame to access it right there. So you just have to go straight up. You're gonna need a good extension and 18 millimeter. Okay, now let's look for number three. Okay, for your orientation, we're now on still on the passenger side. We're just past the axle. There's a third bolt right here, and here is the hole to access it. And in this case, it's uh, this is the trailer hitch. It's class three hitch. If yours doesn't have a hitch, it's even easier to get to. There it is. The last bolt, because there's four on each side. Okay, there's the fourth one. It's at the very tail end of the uh, frame. This is the bracket to your bumper. On my 95, I couldn't access this bolt because the way the trailer hitch was designed, it was in the way. So I had to drop the hitch to do it. This one isn't that way. So depending on what you've got, you may have to drop a hitch, drop a bumper, or maybe not. Okay, while we're under here, a couple of the th other things to disconnect would be the wiring harness, like to your taillights. Uh, you can see here, it, it attaches to the uh, bed. So you're gonna to wanna to pop that off there and then there's several of those clips. And then also at the uh, disconnect your tail lights, it goes up in there, pull your tail lights out, disconnect it, and this, this wiring harness will drop out. So if you got a hitch, which I do, which means the wiring harness for that. This side's a bit of a mess wiring wise. Uh, it's grounded to the frame, which is no big deal as long as the bumper stays in place. Just make sure nothing is grounded to the body. So between your tail lights, uh, removing this harness off of the, uh, uh, the bottom of the bed here, this harness will stay with the frame. The next thing will be to look at the gas filler door and disconnecting the filler tube. Okay, the gas filler door, this has these three screws that will disconnect the, uh, the filler uh, cap and tube from the inside. The last thing to do is disconnect this ground strap that runs from your filler tube to the bottom of the bed. One last thing I would recommend is putting some cardboard or something between the cab and the bed so that as you're moving the bed uh, and it starts to move around a little bit and it may hit the cab, you don't want to damage the paint. So whether you're using moving blankets or cardboard, doesn't matter. Just think of something that you can slide in between the two that will protect the body. The bed is now off. Just gonna put it on the cart and roll it outside to clean it up. I ended up pulling off the bumper and the trailer hitch. Uh, they were in the way. After all, when you go to lift the bed off, the lower extensions in the back of the bed make contact with the bumper, so all that needed to come off. The wiring is all messed up anyway. And with all the bed, the bumper, hitch, everything removed, uh, we've got the bed out on the pad. We're gonna power wash that tomorrow and uh, probably push the truck out, power wash the rest of this, clean it up. And uh, that's really gonna be it for today. So we'll check in tomorrow. 